Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more Starbound, and I think I found the system that I was looking for here, the Beta Eps Lab 2859 radioactive star system. And yes, there are some harmless planets, there are some moons and everything, but, and there's actually a, a few interesting moderate places as well, but what I'm really looking for here are risky places, not necessarily poisonous ocean planets, although that's interesting, but there's also a lot of tropical areas with high levels of radiation. It's interesting the poisonous places have poisonous rain too, so I imagine I'll have to get something to try and work with that. So this, the temperature is dangerously low, so this is a frigid planet that's dangerous. Maybe I can do uh, something there too eventually, but oh wow, planet is covered in alien uh, plant life, is uh, no breathable atmosphere, high levels of radiation. That is a really interesting planet to think about. Maybe that's where I go first. I don't know, because uh, apparently uh, my radiation suit will actually provide me an air supply as well. So is that where I want to go first, or do I want to actually hit one of these other tropical planets here? There's a lot of interesting stuff to look into, but I think it was one of these that I wanted to take on first. So there's a moon, which has some... There was a moon here somewhere, I thought. Maybe I was just clicking the wrong thing. So, great source of fuel as well. But let's go ahead and just hit one of the tropical planets first. Which one has lower gravity? This one's a little smaller. Day length, 15 minutes. Let's go. 220 fuel. Can do it. Just sitting here hemming and hawing all the time. Part of the reason that I'm going to the one that has this tropical first is because that will let me get some uh, bandages and everything. But I definitely want to explore some of the dangerous areas as well. So... We are going for FTL style travel here. I do have decent weaponry. I do have a decent gun. I did figure out what's going what's going on with these uh, different things here. So I have the processor, which is a good start. I do actually need to build the magnetic crucible, which means I need to get some uranium rods, which means I need to uh, get some uranium, and then I can build a uh, re well, refineries. Uh, decent thing to build to. I actually almost have enough stuff to do that. But there was another thing that was a replicator. Let me see if I can pull that up. There it is. A Durasteel replicator turned strong ores into high quality equipment. So between the replicator and between the magnetic crucible, uh, I can break down materials and turn them into far stronger ones. And that's what I'm going to need. So for now, it looks like I'm going to be doing titanium gear for a while, and we are going on to what is called a... Let's look at it one more time. Is this actually a dangerous planet, or is it just risky? Okay, so we're just risky here. High levels of radiation. Let's make sure we have the right tech equipped. Radiation protection, which actually uh, also supplies oxygen. So yay. Let's go to the planet and see how quickly we die. That sounds like a fun one. Alright, so right away, things don't look so bad. Let's eat a steak, because why not? Last time I went on a radioactive planet, it was, uh, well, pretty much last time I was on a radioactive planet, it was a little bit of a nightmare, because I was looking for uh, things that I could bandage myself with, and it didn't work very well. So actually already got some green bio. Oh, good. There's a uh, flower area over here. So let's explore the flower first, because we got a uh, treasure chest right here, which has all kinds of fun things here. We got... Blueprint, blueprint, and medical kits. So let's go ahead and just learn these blueprints real quick. Just so we can have it here. I definitely need some lessons in inventory management. Alright. So, now we ask the question of, is this life form aggressive? Yes. And that life form can take a hit, too. Alright, so what do we got here? Flower chest, titanium ore. That's very nice of you. And we can actually cut down some flowers as well here, so... I don't actually know how to increase my inventory space, other than just ditching things. But I am very happy about my uh, matter manipulator growth here. And it's nice to see the blue soil again, because that's what I originally was... Uh, I built one of my first sort of bases on, so you're not aggressive. So your strawberry mask, don't care. Berry hat, don't care want actual gear from these chests. So are you aggressive? Yes. And you shoot beetles and you're vulnerable to fire but you hit really hard so are we gonna have night time here soon already maybe. 
Okay, so these guys are a little more dangerous. They can actually, they do actually hit and they do actually hurt. But at least I'm not dying from radiation, so that's a positive. Wow, that's a really tough charge. All right, so whoop. At least their movements are fairly predictable, but the burn damage did not kill him. So you should die a little bit quicker. At least on the bright side, we're not like the old style of this game where uh, one hit would kill everybody. So let's see, I already know that. And uh, let's see. Now we're in the darkness. At least, once again, setting things on fire will provide you, the viewers, with a light source. So I don't think that's anything I can grab. So now we get to see you're not aggressive, you're probably aggressive, yep. But we are out of the woods, and it looks like that's poisonous water. Which is pretty cute. Usually when it's like that, it's poisonous. And here's another little thing that I've run into in the past. Uh, let's go ahead and set up a torch here just so I can see a little bit better here. When I open this door, this guy is going to attack me. And yeah, he hits a lot harder than he did on the last planet where I ran into him. But dies just as well. So what do we got right here? Because what I'm going to be trying to do is just to snipe these guys. So more medical kits. That's good. Hopefully I can take these guys out. They have a lot more health. Alright, so let my gun recharge. Somehow they don't know how to jump. So I guess we'll just be cheesing them this way and see if I can get a good item drop off of them. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. They don't hit for that much damage though, so that's a positive. So just take you guys on fairly slowly. Just take my time. If we can get a good item out of this, that'll be pretty nice. So some pixels and something down there. And some stim packs, stim packs. Nick. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. I mean red stim packs are good, pixels are okay, bandages decent. Like I said, one of the things that's been a little bit of a change is that most of my interactions with uh... Okay, so there's Bouncy that stops the fall damage. Most of my interactions with uh, alien life so far have been just little aggressive camps like that, and I think I've only run into one city so far. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Hopefully this camp is not very aggressive. Okay, so we have another glitch castle. I, oh, what? They usually are not aggressive like that. I, I couldn't even read the message that he said. see what we can do here. I have a nice strategy. I can actually tear apart his walls and then maybe snipe him. Maybe. Or are we doing the same thing we did before, I guess. Let's see. Shift this down to one. Let's see here. So apparently, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he's trying to kill me, so I gotta kill him first. And this is how we're gonna do it. I may be lame, but I'm not stupid, because you have a lot of armor, and my stuff is not hurting you very much. 
And if you're just gonna run around back and forth down there, then I will happily just shoot and glitch in a barrel. Haha, there's a joke there. Although getting a little impatient, so maybe I will. I'm down and chop suing for just a minute. That's not so bad. Because he just keeps missing me, so more time should do it. And please drop a good weapon or something. He dropped a something. I don't know what that is. Oh well. He looked like he dropped something. So let's see what we got. We got a little we got one secret area over here, so that's a positive. Apparently I cannot search any of those barrels. Hmm. Well let's see what's in the secret area. One happy little chest. Which has plus some seeds. Not very useful. Or maybe I can't actually pick up things because my inventory is full. Got a crown and a deer slasher. Let's see what that is. Deer slasher. Two handed sword. Stronger than what I have right now, I believe. So that's good. It's like, why am I not picking up anything? Oh, wait, because my inventory is very full of stuff. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't. Well, clay's possibly useful. Don't need this. Don't need that much cobblestone. I really don't need that much water, but maybe I can release it into the flood somewhere. Which means maybe I should check back here to see what these guys dropped. I don't think they were that far away. I don't think the items disappear when I go too far. Although I'm pretty sure I picked up everything that they had. Oh, a chest. Chest with a uh, awesome Stormarizer. That is a definite upgrade on the gun front. So what can we get rid of? We can get rid of this. And it's a two-handed gun, and we'll get the pixels as well. Cool. And I don't think that anything else, so yeah. All right, so compared to uh, what I had previously, 267, 94 energy per shot. Good Lord, 60 energy per shot. And we can go ahead and dump this. I could keep some of these items if I make another character here. Crown. All right, well... So that has a little bit of an effect. Let's shoot the birdie. Wow, okay. That is a total spread shotgun. Not super high on that, but I understand the appeal. Does quite a bit of damage. So yeah, we'll definitely keep a little bit of it. So we still haven't even dug much into the planet yet. I just kind of... I haven't circumnavigated the planet in a while, and I feel like I should with at least one here. So we did find a little glitch castle. We do have a nice cascading sunset, sunrise, sun something. And yeah, so... Here's that person's home that I just stormed and destroyed. Because I'm a winner. And here is a uh, another thing. Okay, so I have I have good weapons, or I have on par weapons. Can probably do better with uh, some of the weapons that I got. Oh, just poisoned myself. That was a derp. Let's just go down here and get some, uh, possibly some good buffs. Definitely some more plant fiber because I'm gonna need bandages. You can see how many I've gone through already. Here we can take the poison as well. This water's poison. We're never doing that again. Poison. And it's nice because just the one little bit of poison will do the same amount of damage to me as 
previously, and I am now on fire. So that's too awesome, and there's another treasure chest. So lots of plant so lots of plant matter over here, and I can actually eat again to heal up a little more. That's a really nice it's like an actual shotgun. If you get in somebody's face, it does a nice amount of damage. But I do have the med packs as well, so. Let's see here. How many plant fibers do I need? Because I can get quite a few. I guess it wasn't a total waste when I was collecting kelp previously, but yeah. One of the most reliable ways to get a good weapon is to kill people, and I actually have not gotten a lot of towns or something to like slaughter everybody. I'm not sure if that's necessarily what I want to do with Oreo Guzzler, but maybe they don't give him cookies. I don't know. For now, band lots and lots of bandages will do. Should be plenty. Because we're going to go up here and see if we can get even better weapons. It's all up to the RNG. Because eventually I'm going to have to start digging down and trying to get Dura Steel some way, shape, or form. Let's go up here first and see. Not land in the poison. Yeah, you still have a lot of health. But you died. And do, do, and one handed awesome Death Dicer. Which is okay, except the way that armor currently works in the game means that that doesn't do very much damage. Let's go ahead and. We don't need a lot of Moonstone. Lord knows we'll be getting more Moonstone over time. Because anytime you have to dig into the uh, water, it will be Moonstone. So I do actually have another chest. I don't need all the saplings. And there's actually no aggressive people on this side, so. A little positive, a little negative. Yeah. Dash tech's nice. Death! Oh, death to the heathens. There we go. Hello, friends. Don't know what makes me a heathen, but... Now I got wood dignitary, which I... Or wood dinner tray. Dignitary. Where did that come from? And another weapon. And unfortunately, because my items are so fucking scattered, it's going to take me a minute to see what I got. So there's a little more kelp. I believe one of those is another shield. Slash Carnage, not very good. I think that was the other one that dropped. We'll see in a minute. Do, 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 do. Calamity Jane's still there. Awesome Death Dicer. Which is what I already which is one the one handed weapon I picked up. There's Kill Guard, one of my old shields. Yeah, see, this is just sad. This is why I need to fix my inventory. Don't. I think I'm gonna ditch Calamity Jane as much as it's nice to have one shot, one kill here. All right, so Searing Render was the weapon I had before. We're gonna ditch it. And DPS 160 versus. 174th of lightning effect. We'll ditch that. There's our dinner tray. So that's a better shield. Cool. Alright. So we haven't even gone underground yet on this planet, and already we found some decent things here. Some more uh, blueprints, perhaps. Let's see if I can kill these guys before they kill me. I was actually way too close. Did not realize how much damage the other people did to me already. And guns are still not very effective in these little flower fields and stuff. See, anything interesting down there? Not really. Just some actual rain pooling from the, or some water pooling from the rain. Uh, let's see here. Uranium ore, that's good. Uranium ore, something we will need once we start digging into the underground. And I feel like we're pretty close to where we started. I did dig a little bit to maybe guide me. 
but we'll see. Once we hit some stuff that we've explored. So here's this beautiful range assassin. We'll get this down. Let's go ahead and put the petals over here. So tomato seeds are good, plant fibers are good, glowing obsure might be good. Automato, don't really know. Don't need all this don't need 32 saplings for that just yet. Death dicer can go. And now we get to see is this weapon better? 257 big big shot here, but let's let's try it and see. If it's just a one shot gun, I'm gonna be a little happier with that. And it is just a uh, one shot gun. Though unfortunately I cannot see anymore, so. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna hold on to that gun. Hardened monster plate is good. Lots of lag and oh look at this! What was I just saying? We have not actually come across something like this in a while and finally it's a dungeon. A dungeon and let's see here, two-handed spear. That is a really good spear. Oh my gosh. Alright, these are these are definite upgrades here. 174 versus 103. That's a tier one, tier one. 152 damage versus uh, 233 damage per swing. Mm. That's a one one handed, one handed, and uh, two handed spear. We'll see if that one does a little better. I don't like the swing radius of that as much, but let's get rid of some of these items because we're about to go dungeoning. I'm not sure if we'll be doing it this video or next video, but. Uh, you no, know, the nice thing is that we'll at least be going down somewhere, so we don't need all this sandstone. We don't need plant matter stone. We don't need green sand. We don't need temple block. That's been there for a while. Wood planks we do need. Clay we can use. Let me check the time on the video real quick. Yeah, we got a little bit of time to dig in now. Let's go ahead and do it. I wish, I really wish there was a sort button. But hey, uh, let's see. Because, yeah, these are the uh, nice little temples of doom. Where typically people are aggressive, but this can also mean good things for items to get. Okay, so that spear has no reach, but... Moron's going to stand right there and just take it. For some reason, he's very floaty. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that spear. I think we're just going to go with this for now. Although technically the spear does more damage. This one still does plenty of damage. And I can reliably aim it, which does matter. Alright, now this is uh, one of the places that... Uh, you can't necessarily take apart a lot of this stuff. At, oh, you, you can actually on this planet. Let's see what our damage comparison is. 2 damage, 18 damage. So let's see. If I shoot you, how much damage will that do? I've gotta hit you first. Wow! One shot, one kill, Splinter Deathbringer. Which, of course, now I have to say where are my weapons again? Calamity Jane, sorry you're done. Fabric, we'll put you in the uh, other one. That's a good weapon. That's an outdated weapon, although if you can upgrade some of the unique weapons like that, that was one of the original unique ones I put in. Splinter Deathbringer Crossbow. Eh. I'm happy with my gun. We'll see if it one-shots this guy. No, but it gets really close. And then Sharp Crunch Render, which is a two-handed spear. Alright, so we'll eventually get a good weapon from these guys. Just all the lag from the rain. I love the rain effect, but the lag is real in this. So this is a uh, glitch-style temple facility. These dungeons used to have some uh, 
very interesting and appealing rewards to them. But I don't exactly know how they treat them in this update. That is lava that we can't actually get and take with us. Unfortunately, let's see here. That is a um, matter that you can either... I forget if it's going to explode no matter what, if you can get it. Okay, so are you all going to fall in the lava? Maybe. They're just gonna they're just gonna foot clan it and let me shoot them. That's a positive. I do remember you do need these things to oh I actually hit two at once, that's nice. So two four, you're all dead. So awesome storm squisher and some pixels. So we're not gonna hold on to you. We're not gonna hold on to you, because I need bigger shots. Two handed axe, there we go. Two-handed axe that does a lot more damage. Doesn't have nearly as much range, but let's see here. Alright, so that used to like make a huge explosion that would kill you. They seem to have changed that. Question is, can I actually... There we go, uh, matter blocks. Matter blocks are very important for crafting certain things, and it's nice that you can still actually get them. So, see so here, just a few, a little bit more matter here. Matter blocks would technically let you skip a tier. Whoop! Let's not fall into that, please. Alright, so we'll see. There's a few pixels, anything in the cabinet. Stem packs, pixels, and... Science glasses. Science glasses. This is all one set. Thing else over here, not really. But still, good way to good way to kind of end this. At least get some interesting stuff going on here. Like I said killing people is the best way to get really good gear, and I'm really excited that I got some matter stuff as well. I'm curious about how they handle that now, because you you kind of got to search search hard for it sometimes. Now there may be some secret stuff here as well. I cannot always get to. It is also possible that at the bottom of this temple we'll find some uh, uranium. Just kind of on the outside, I don't know, but... Said, I'm glad I I'm glad I found the gun that I got, because that is going to make this... ...worlds easier. Okay, so you did poke me a little bit. Okay, so that does respectable damage now. Oops. Okay, so you're dead. You killed Lark! Yes, I did. And I killed you too. So just taking my time, just trying to kill people as best I can. That is a ton of stem packs. Wow. Used to not be able to find this stuff ever. And science is coat. If you remember my old Starbound videos, I've already done the science thing. So do not enter. I imagine if we go down into the lava, that's bad. So we're not going to do the lava today. Danger, danger, danger. Can actually grab some of that, I think. Yeah, the floor is lava. There we go. That'll be a nice thing to accidentally release from my inventory at the wrong time. So matter blocks are really good, and... Yeah, this video is... Whoops! This video is going a little long, but I know... Exploring dungeons like this, we don't get to do it all the time, so let's just go ahead and make it work. Can't actually get some of these panels to take with me, but sometimes we can go a little deeper on the other side, too. So it sounds like daytime has come here. I wish this axe had a slightly bigger hit radius, but anything down here? We got somebody down there. That well, looks like we hit the end of the area here, other than I think that it uh, die by my sword. Okay. Sounds like a healthy suggestion. One down. Ear uh, hammer halter and then some pixels. What is what is it that I just picked up? Oh boy, I'm gonna, I lost it in my inventory because I didn't do a good job cleaning up here. 
So Deer Slasher, no. Stormerizer, interesting, but no. Dispensing Pod, a material dispensing pod. I actually got to take that with me. Cool. Used to not be able to. Matter blocks are very important, though. Let's see here. So Crossbow, not getting that. I like my one shot, one kill. Mr. Nose Poker, no. Ear Hammer Halter, so that is a shield. Okay. I can I can be with that. So now we're at the bottom here. Let's see here. Don't think there's too much here. Oh, there is a little something. Good. We get some extra exploration. In fact, yeah, we may get some bonus bonus exploring here because we've got believe some uranium up here if my eyes do not deceive me and if I can actually dig through this wall which is taking this dear sweet time pressurized steel because we do need to start digging in places to get some uranium so this could be as good of an area as, of, as any to just get that started now let's see if that's uranium up there it's green we don't usually see green things over here. But yeah, I'm probably am going to call this a video here in just a minute, just because I could keep playing, but I'm probably just going to pick up in the next one right where I left off. Is that uranium? That is uranium ore. Awesome. Is that titanium ore? Because that would be great. No, it's it's always silver. All right, so. Yeah, we're going to call this a video for now. This is Way to Fail. We'll continue right where we left off. It's kind of exploring to the left. We do have some more uranium on the ground, and we shall see what happens next time. So, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.